hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add archive and unarchive option in odoo 16 so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo 16 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 16 development tutorial so there might be some case where you have to archive some record like what we can say suppose if you have the master of doctors and let's say if doctor take or doctor leave the hospital there is no more point of showing the doctors inside this list like we should archive the doctor like he is no more existing in the hospital so we should archive his record so let's see how we can do that so first of all before doing that so if i go to the sales application and then to the customers so here you can see currently we have three customers deco addict assure interior and blah 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 so which we have created for some test purpose so if i open this record inside the action button you can see you have got an option called archive so if you click on that are you sure that you want to archive all the record on if i click on ok you can see the record will not be listed here anymore initially it was showing here but once we press archive the record is not listed here so if i need to get that i have to filter archived records so if i filter archived record you can see the record is here and i can unarchive it so it will be coming back again here so similar functionality what we will do is that we will be adding for the doctor records so here we will add the option of archive and unarchive so let's see how we can achieve that so first of all what we have to do is that let me close all the open files and let me go to the doctor model so this is the model where we have to add the archive and unarchive option so what you have to do is that you have to add a field with technical name active so this is a reserved keyword in Odoo. you have to use active itself and it should be a boolean field so fields dot boolean then I'll set the default value as true default as true if you need any string you can give the string for the field so for now I will not add the string so you can see how just defined a boolean field with technical name active and let's upgrade and see what happens so I'll just restart so I have restarted the service which will upgrade my module and if I refresh the screen and if I check here, we don't have that option. And if I click here, you can see in the list view, you have this option archive and unarchive. So if you need to get the option inside the form view here, what you have to do is that you have to add. So once we add a field of active inside that model in the tree view, without doing anything, archive and unarchive option is available so if you need the same inside the form view you have to just copy this field and add it inside the corresponding form view so i'll go to doctor.xml so here we have the doctor's form view so inside the doctor's form view i will add this active field and i'll put it as invisible field because i don't need to make it visible for the users so i'll just add invisible equal to one and let's restart the module the module has been upgraded now and if i come to the ui and if i refresh the screen and if you click on the action button you can see you have the archive button now so once i archive so currently if i go to the tree view we have got three records that is sam john and matthew and suppose there might be case where matthew has been left the hospital so i'll click on archive click on ok and if you come back to the list view you will not have matthew here so in order to get matthew you have to add archived filter so we don't have the filter here so i'll go to the custom filter active is no and if i click on apply you can see matthew is here and i can unarchive him so he will be coming back so this is how you can add archive and unarchive option in Odoo. so once you do that make sure that you are adding the necessary filter option in the search view so if you search inside the Odoo code you can get archived filter so let me take a sample yeah 
I'll copy this sample and I'll put it inside the search view. So once we click, so currently you can see we don't have an archive filter here. So I just add filter name archived, a string is given and I have to filter domain equal to, that is domain equal to active false. So let me restart again. And if I refresh the screen, now you have an archived filter here. So if I click on archived, there is no archived filter. So if I again archive Matthew, click on OK. And if I select archived filter, you can see Matthew is here. So this is how we can add archive. And one more thing that you can learn along with this archive and unarchive option is how to add a web ribbon in Odoo. That is if I go to the sales application and to the customers, here we have blah, blah, blah. If I archive that, you can see an archived ribbon is coming here. So let's see how we can add similar ribbon inside the hospital module. So if you click on this debugger button and if you click on edit view form, here inside there is a web ribbon. You can see widget web ribbon. So that is after sheet tag. Simply I'll copy this ribbon and I'll add it inside the doctor's form view. So this is doctor.xml file and inside doctor form view after sheet tag, I will add this code that is widget name is web ribbon title is archived that is which will display here this title you can change as per you need title archived bg color is bg danger that is background color is danger which is for red color you have other option like bg success bg warning etc and i'm saying i need to hide this when record is active that is i need to show only when it is false so let's restart and see what happens what changes will happen now so you can see the module has been upgraded and if i come back to hospital master's doctor and let me take currently i open sam which is an active doctor there is no banner and if i take the archived record and if i open the matthew you can see archived label so you can change like archived or just you can see i put a capital d and you have the options like bg success which will bring green color so you can see this condition invisible if active equal to true so by default for all the records what you have to understand is that by default for the records the value of active i'll do one thing i'll edit the list view and i'll add the active field here field name active here that is small letter you have to enter the field active I have entered the field in the list view and you can see the value. So currently you can see for the record SAM value of active is true. So once I archive, if I filter archived, you can see value will get um, will get false. So if I again I unarchive, the value will become true. So based on this field value archive and unarchive is happening so when it is active it will be true when it is archived the value will be false so when it is archived so the condition is saying that this has to be shown only when the value of active is false that is when it is true this will be invisible so here we have changed the d and let me archive one you can see uh, it's fully coming in capital letter so you can see cannot see the difference so if i put archived multiple d and if i refresh you can see it's coming in green color because i have put bg success and title you can see here so i'll just revert that change i'll put archived and instead of success i'll put bg danger so this is how we can add archive and unarchive option in Odoo along with an archived filter and archived ribbon. So I hope you understood this video. If you like the video, please do click the like button and support us by sharing the video with your Odoo friends and add a comment. And also please support us by subscribing to the channel. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.